This is version of Alice 3.1. Make sure that you're in a matching version if you're using this lecture. The file types recently changed, and if you have the Alice Beta 3.0 something, you can't bring those files into Alice 3.1. Everything's changed. Let's get you started. I'm going to select under templates, the grass template, and hit OK. This should open up the Alice interface. Whenever you're working in Alice, the first thing that you need to do is set up your scene. So we're going to set up the scene by adding some characters. I'm going to look at my class, and this is all of my Alice models. I'm going to choose class biped, and I'm going to just pick a couple of characters to work with. I'm going to work with the baby Yeti, largely because I think he's cute. And we'll work with the big bad wolf. And I'll put them next to each other. We're going to create a leapfrog program. I'm going to make this a little bit easier. You can change sizes on characters. And I want Baby Yeti and the wolf to be about the same size. So you can see that under the handle style, I have the option of default, rotation, translation, and resize. And so I used resize to change the size so the Yeti and the wolf were about the same size. Now I'm going to change to my rotation handles because I'd like them to face each other. So I'm going to turn Mr. Wolf to face Baby Yeti so that they can have a conversation. And I'd like to move Yeti just a little nearer to Wolf and I always like to make sure that my feet aren't stuck in the grass. I want them sitting on the grass. Okay, this is what I need to set up my scene. So I'm going to go back to Edit Code. And in Edit Code, I'm going to need to select one of the characters. I'm going to have Baby Yeti have a short conversation with the wolf. So under the different code options, which are all under Procedures, you want to make sure that the Baby Yeti is selected. There are two ways to do that. You can either click on Baby Yeti, or you can select from the list. So I'm going to select the Baby Yeti, and I'm going to have the Baby Yeti say, I want to play. And then I'm going to have him say, I want to play now. And then I'm going to test you this to show you how to run it. So I'm going to select Run. And you'll see that Baby Yeti is saying, I want to play, I want to play now. But that was a little fast for me, so I can add detail here. I want the duration to be two seconds. And I will add detail by hitting the down arrow, selecting duration, and hitting two seconds. Font color, which appears here, while I tested it, it does not appear to work at this point. So I'm going to run it now and see if I'm happy with it. I want to play. I want to play now. Two seconds should be long enough that anybody who's reading this should be able to follow it. So now I'm going to select the wolf. And I'm going to do this the other way by selecting this dot big bad wolf. And I'm going to have him say, sigh if we must. And then I'm going to have him say, let's play leapfrog. Now I could test this again, but I know that I pretty much want durations of two. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Now I've got some work done into this, and you should get into the habit of saving after every segment of, of code. So I'm going to choose File. Save As, and I'm going to save as Project 1 Leapfrog, and I'm going to hit Save. Okay, so now we're going to keep going. Now what I want to do is have the Yeti turn around and have the wolf 
jump over the Yeti, the Yeti jump over the wolf, the wolf jump over the Yeti. So I'm going to select the Yeti because I'm going to want the Yeti to turn. And left or right doesn't really matter here, but I want him to turn halfway around. And here I like to test it, and since I don't want to watch everything again, I can speed it up the conversation. Okay, they're turned. And I probably want to go to set up scene because they're not exactly facing each other here. Let's look at the rotation. Turn it so he's lined up so he's painting right at him. And that should give me what I'm looking for. All right. So now I'm going to select the big bad wolf. And I'm going to have a move up by one. I'm going to have him move direction forward. Let's try one. And then I'm going to have him move down. And let's try one. And this should have him jump over Baby Yeti. And again, I don't want to see the whole thing real, at real time. I'm okay with that. I don't think that I have him jumping far enough forward. So here, I can go in and I can check custom decimal number and do 1.5. And the important thing you're supposed to be getting out of pro, for programming out of this is that you never wait till the end of a program to test it. Each time you try something new, you test it. It's much faster to test as you go because then you're looking for an error. It's like looking for a needle among three or four pieces of hay instead of an error that's a needle in a haystack. You want to find errors quickly. So I'm going to try running this, and again, it's okay to speed through it. We know the dialogue's right. Oh, that did not get him as far as I wanted to go. That's because I did an oops, and I have a .5 when I really wanted a 1.5. And it's really easy to make errors like that. I make typos when I'm programming all the time. Most people do. That's about what I want. So now we can try the Yeti the same way. So I'm going to select the baby Yeti. And I'm going to have him move up one. I'm going to have him move forward, and this time I'm going to have to have a custom decimal number of 1.5. Hopefully that'll work okay. And then I'm going to have him move down one. Let's run it. I want to play. I want to play now. Sigh if we must. Let's play leapfrog. Turns around, up, over, down, up, over, down, there we go. Okay, I'd like you to continue this for at least two more hops for each character. I want them to play Leapfrog until they're off the screen. You'll follow the same pattern that we used in the original Leapfrog demonstration and just keep going with it. That's your first program in Alice 3.1.